One more reason why you shouldn't ban e-collars, and that is that Mr. Bayo here is a trained protection dog and a trained service dog for his owner who is wheelchair bound. While I've been training in the last few weeks, I thought about it, I'm like, how on earth do you wheel around in a wheelchair and control your protection dog? Well, that ain't gonna happen with the leash, folks, because you know why? My freaking hands are tied up. I can't tie the leash up to the wheelchair because that would be just stupid in case he chases after something, we're gonna go for Mr. Toad's wild ride. Well, how about you say, oh, people in a wheelchair shouldn't have a protection dog. Why not? They deserve a protection dog just as much as you do, if not even more so. What about a smaller dog? Well, a smaller dog is gonna help with protection work, number one. And number two, many people in a wheelchair use a large dog like this to get in and out of wheelchairs. What about purely positive training? Well, purely positive training is a fucking pipe dream, folks. It doesn't work. Not when you have a dog with actual drive that has prey drive and see something. How on earth am I supposed to get him to come back if he takes off after something, unless I have an e-collar?